All right, y'all. There's one principle that I forgot to give you all that I wanted to make sure that I hit you with. Because I think that it is going to be crucial, and I'm just getting my phone here real quick so I can read. Um, so I can read the verse. It comes from Proverbs. I'm telling you, man, like, yo, I'm hitting y'all with a lot of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 25 has kind of like instantly become one of my favorite chapters in the world this week, man. So I want to give it to you um, really quickly so that it can be a blessing to your life. This is in particular Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 4. And it says, I'm sorry, no, chap Proverbs chapter 25 verse um six proverbs chapter 25 verse six and it says don't work i'm reading from the message version it says don't work yourself into the spotlight don't push your way into the place of prominence it's better to be promoted to a place of honor than face humiliation by being demoted and basically what that thing is saying man is that you know a lot of us i know especially for myself i certainly have been guilty of wanting to push my way or to create my own place at the table so to speak and there's nothing wrong with working hard there's nothing wrong with going and 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 doing all that you can in order to reach your dreams but what you have to realize is that you can't be worried about creating your own space at the table you can only be worried about doing the work that is in front of you to do. You can only be worried about using the seeds that God has given you and doing the best that you can with cultivating those seeds, right? Um, and if you do that, the rest will take care of itself. And so, so many times, I know me personally, I've fallen into the trap of, man, I wanna be here, I wanna be at this place. So let me try to do what this person is doing over here in order to uh, to obtain this type of success or, or it's not coming fast enough so let me uh, do what this other person over here is doing and you know it looks like they're having some success maybe uh, things will start turning around for me or what have you and then you find yourself running all over the place because you're trying to create your own success not even understanding that even if you do get a seat at the table there when you create your own seat at the table right and you just put yourself there Somebody might see you and be like, yo, listen, I, we never invited you here. Like, please see your way out. But if you say, you know what, I'm just going to focus on working hard, providing as much value to other people's lives as possible until they eventually ask me to come sit at the table. Now you're in a position of prominence. Why? Because it's one thing to try to just be somewhere. Right. Oh, perfect example. How many of you all have ever gone to or seen on TV or what have you? There's a difference between somebody who they just crash a party, show up to a party uninvited versus a person who they weren't even trying to go to the party necessarily, but they were invited. Right. Somebody felt in their heart that they should be invited. And so what I'm saying is that allow your work, allow your character to get you invited to the table. For God to put you in positions to where people say, yo, you know, because of the value that you provide to our lives, we, we want you at the table. But there are too many people out there who they want to be at the table just to be at the table. They're not interested in providing valuable content. They're not interested in va providing valuable services. They're not interested in, uh, in providing a valuable product that will get them invited to the table. They just want to be at the table. They want all the benefits of being at the table, but they don't want the hard work that comes along with uh, being at the table. They don't want the risk that comes along with being at the table. They don't want the, the, um, the lack of sleep sometimes that comes with uh, be sitting at the table, right? They don't want to go through the sacrifices that you have to make in order to develop good relationships. Some people want the best marriage in the world, but they're not willing to make the sacrifices necessary. Um, they, they, they still want to hold on to, to old friends. You know, the, some fellas want to hold on to old female friends. Some of the ladies want to hold on to old male friends, right? Even though you want to have a great relationship with this person that's right in front of you. Right. So you can't have your cake and eat it, too. But yeah, man, allow God to promote you. And it doesn't mean that um, that a person may not promote you. 
Um, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go out, out there and try to, like, I'm not saying to not apply to a better job just because, you know, you're waiting for somebody else to promote you or invite you to the table. No, you still have to do your part. But what I'm saying is that let your concentration be, don't, don't get all bent out of shape if you don't get that promotion, right? As if you feel like you deserve what I have. Okay, maybe you didn't get it. You concentrate on to keep continuing doing work. I, I guarantee you another opportunity at the appointed time will eventually come to you, man. And if there's anything that I notice that God wants what's best for us more than we even want what's best for ourselves. And by all means, I think that he wants to see his children um, living in excellence and at the top of their game. And when the time is right, when he feels that it is the best situation for you, he will open up the door and allow you a seat at the right table um, at the right time. But the worst thing would be for you to have to compromise your values, your character, your belief system, um, and who you are just because you want to see it at the table. It'd be better that you continue to maintain your principles, um, maintain your character, maintain your beliefs, right? And, and, and trust and have the faith that if you do that, God will um, either create a new table for you that you'll be at the head of, or he will uh, position you at the right table with the right people at the right time so that you don't have to compromise. So yeah, I just want to leave you all with that, man. Blessings to you all. Love you all. 